the most important thing in business is to be able to sell something because otherwise you have no energy coming back into your business to support and encourage you and to nurture your ongoing creativity. So what I hope this little video will inspire you to do is to go and announce your service, your program, your group, your course, your event to your audience today. If it's been more than two weeks since you last announced something to sell to your audience, I hope you will go ahead and do that right now. You can stop watching this and this is all I'm going to say because now you might say, well, George, but what about I haven't, I haven't updated my website. I haven't posted content in a while. I haven't sent my email newsletter in a long time. So how can I sell something? That's going to be the first message they hear from me. Yes. <laughs> and, and it might be really surprising for you to hear me say this because if you've watch my videos, you know, I'm always talking about the importance of authentic content, doing it consistently. Yes, that's true, but that's more the long term. Content is, from my point of view, creating content is this intersection of inner exploration, exploring your experiences and skills, and outer service, serving your ideal audience with genuine heart and unconditional love. It's a long term project is creating content. And if you, if you aren't doing it consistently, it's okay. I want you to stop feeling guilty about it. <laughs> okay. Stop feeling guilty, not posting content consistently. What I, what matters more to me is whether you are selling consistently. And, and, and you might say, George, that's surprising to me. You're an authentic business. How can you talk about selling? I'm not talking about being high pressure or being tricky or deceptive in your selling. No, no, no. I'm, when I say selling, I mean the simple act of humbly coming to your audience and saying, I made something for you, or I have something for you that I think will help you if you have these certain issues or have a certain goals or have a certain desire for this kind of experience. I have something for you. And if you find it helpful, I hope you'll take me up on it. If not, no worries, no pressure. If you have any questions, let me know. And that is the simple act of selling. That's all. Authentic selling is just coming from a heartfelt place of service to the ideal client and saying, I wonder if this is going to be interesting to you because I made this with you in mind. And if not, don't worry. That's okay. You know? Because you're going to be back in two weeks. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be back in two weeks, you know, but because, okay. So, so the bottom line of this video is to please do that kind of selling every two weeks. That's my homework for you. If you have any questions about this, let me know below. But every two weeks, you should be selling something on social media and to, uh, your email newsletter, if you haven't sent one in a long time, I think sending a selling thing every two weeks is, is too often, but sending a selling thing to your email newsletter every two months is not too often. Even if you don't feel, ah, George, I'm, I'm, I feel badly. I haven't sent anything to my email list for a long time. No, don't worry. Send them your current service or program or group that you're starting every two months is not too often for email newsletter and every two weeks is not too often for social media because people are surfing social media all the time. They see between your, your, your every two weeks of selling, they would have seen hundreds of posts by that point, maybe even more. So that is the lifeblood of, of your business is to have, to have selling happen. And if you, if you, if you don't have the energy coming back to you, it's because you're not selling on a regular basis. So sell as an act of genuine, heartfelt yearning to connect with your ideal client without pressure, but with a heartfelt service to say, humbly, I have something for you. And if you want it this time, wonderful. If not, basically you're silently saying, I'll be back in two weeks and you will. And if they see it every two weeks, guess what happens? The seed gets planted. It gets nurtured and they, they might not say yes the first two or three times you post it, but maybe the sixth time they'll finally consider it. Six times, that, that's, so if you do it every two weeks, 
six times um, is, I, I guess, is uh, what a, a month and a half later, they might finally consider it, right? So, or maybe three months later, they might finally consider it. But you have to give them a chance. And and if you don't do this every two weeks, they'll forget about what you sell. They'll forget about that you even offer anything. Some of you are actually quite consistent and generous with your content, but you're not selling anything every two weeks. So that's what my encouragement for you is in this video. Don't worry about your website. You don't have to update your website. Nobody cares about your website. You're the one who, you're the only one who cares the most. Random people might visit, but all people care about is what they're seeing in front of them every two weeks from you. That's all they care about is, oh, they're seeing this video. They're seeing this article. They're seeing this image. They're seeing that and they're considering it. And that's, and then they'll ask you if they have, they have questions. They're not going to go to your website and make sure every page is fully aligned. Nobody cares about that. Stop updating your damn website, right? That's a delay tactic that a lot of us, myself included, sometimes fall into. I just want you to sell authentically with a heart of service every two weeks and your business is going to get much better over time. So I hope this is helpful and thank you so much for joining me. Take care.